Yo, what is up? This is Joking Joss 34 here to help you guys set up the 3Z3A1, which is compared to the Scorpion Eagle from Black Ops 2. Now, uh, this gun, which you need to know some extra information, it is one of the best rapid fire guns out there, which means it has high bursts. So, uh, you should be able to take out like loads of crowds from short range. It's a great instant killer gun, and uh, I've taken out like around five guys at one time with one mag, and it only holds like around 30 bullets. And that's the first time I ever used a gun with uh, just one mag, you know, taking out like five guys in a row. So it's pretty much insane, pretty much insane stuff which you can pull off with this gun. And also the sight that it has, goddamn, it's just one of the greatest additions I've ever done to this gun. So uh, anyways, let's go through it. So the weapon is located in the, uh, you know, the PW division, in the engineer division though. You cannot use it on support or recon or assault. As you can see on top of your screen, if you press R1L1, uh, you cannot... Put, you cannot install it on assault support or recon so it has to be engineer and you should be able to find it like in the PW, the PW section so as we can see the optic side is going to be called the PKAS one time so uh, do not use the other one which is the medium range one which is the PKA 3.4 because then you should be able to feel like more of the, of the recoil it's going to shoot like all over the freaking place you really do not need that much of a zoom in so all I'm asking you to do is put the PKA, PKAS, and uh, I think that should be better. And you guys saw my previous gameplay, which I got like 50 kills, and this is the same attachment that I've been using, the PKS. And um, it was a, a hell of an attachment. It helped me a lot. It was it gave me like more of a clear view, and I think it's a lot better than the Coyote sight. Also, I told you guys to use the Coyote sight on several of the carbon rifles, but I'm thinking like uh, maybe I should switch it over to the PK because I've been doing pretty much good. With an SMG, imagine if I can do better with the uh, with the carbon rifles. I need to test it out uh, like later on today, so uh, I'll give you guys a heads up on that. So, anyways, um, please install the PKS over the Coyote side, over the Reflex side, over every, every other side there is. Install the PKAS. The next the next thing I would like to talk about will be the accessory, which is called the flashlight. And uh, the reason why I want you to install the flashlight because it, there's a big difference between the laser and the flashlight. The, the laser sight. Um, I used it for a lot, like a lot of games in the beginning of the uh, when I was using this gun, and I'm telling you, you can barely see the laser. It's nothing compared to the carbon rifle division, and um, I don't know why, but I think it's easier to see the laser with the carbon rifle division, so you can be able to shoot from the hip fire a lot more easier. But apparently, with the SMGs, you can barely see the laser, so you're pretty much gonna be struggling a little bit with the laser side and uh, from shooting from hip fire. So it's very really confusing. So what I want you to do is just to install the flashlight so you can surprise the enemy and get them flashed, and they're supposed to be blinded after every time you you aim it at them. So uh, install the flashlight, and after a while, after you unlock like several other stuff, install the laser and light combo, which is which is gonna be like the greatest addition ever because now you're gonna be able to have everything in one gun. So, uh, so yeah, install the laser and uh, light combo because it's going to be a great addition. And uh, it's better to have two things in one. Um, I know you're going to be unlocking the tactical light later on, guys. And uh, I think you should be able to use it like, for a while until you unlock the other one, which is the last one. And I need to get it off the pedal battle pack, so it's going to take a while to unlock. Uh, the next thing I would like to talk about will be the barrel, which is the suppressor. Uh, you're gonna be able to uh, you know shoot with whatever suppressor you want. Actually, you can actually shoot, use the flash hider, um, the heavy barrel, and the suppressor. It's just that I, I want to keep my stealthiness. I want to keep my uh, you know, I want to keep myself off the map. So I use the suppressor. I can use whatever suppressor I want because they're all the same. They have no uh, different kind of effect from each other. So, so yeah, you can use whatever suppressor. But I like to use the R the, the PBS for uh, not the PBS the R2 suppressor because it I don't know I just sometimes feel like it shoots very smooth. So uh, so yeah, that's why I use the R2. But all of them are the same though. So do not worry about what suppressor you know to use. It's just that uh you know it's just the shape of it. So anyways, uh, install suppressor to keep your stealth. That's what I like to do most of the time. So uh, nobody can find me and shoot my ass down. So um, that's why I have the suppressor most of the time. The next thing I would like to talk about, which is very important, is that I want you to install the angle grip. Now, why the angle grip? Because every time you shoot for, off the first bullet, it should be able to keep its stableness out of, right off the first bullet. Now, this gun shoots very freaking fast. So, uh, by the time this gun starts getting the recoil going on, it should be like around, like around uh, two thirds of your mag. Compared to the carbon rifles, which shoots like more slowly, um, that gets like maybe like around 
one third of the mag like you should be able to get the recoil going on like it goes all over the freaking place well this gun shoots very fast so you should be able to get like the uh the accuracy like right away that's why you see me get that those accurate kills from medium range with this gun even though it does have high recoil i used it without the with this attachment and god damn it goes all over the freaking place the stubby grip why is it not good because it goes all over the freaking place there's no s such thing as freaking keeping your uh you know the recoil stable there's no way i already tried it with these two and uh the the vertical and uh the ergo grip are the same they're both the same it's just that one has more accurate than the other one and the stubby grip and the potato grip i mean no that's it the, the stubby grip actually uh you know allows you to aim downfield with more accuracy but i don't think i feel it with this gun like at all so i installed the angle grip and i did a lot better with it because the first bullet always goes into the direction that you're aiming at like directly so uh, this is perfect to get headshots. Once you get the headshot, you're gonna be saving a lot of ammo. So uh, you're gonna have to add the angle grip. Trust me, add the angle grip. It's gonna keep its recoil stable, like from the beginning at least. So uh, do not add the subby grip, guys. Do not add it. So that's it, guys. Uh, the CC3A. It's a hell of a gun. Uh, I'll hopefully, you guys do good with this gun. I recommend it because uh, I only used it for three days, and goddamn, I got like 40 kills, 50 kills, and crazy stuff, you know. Um, it's pretty goddamn accurate. I like this gun. I think I'm gonna use it for a while so I can unlock more stuff and learn more stuff about it. So, uh, and goddamn, I miss that from, from medium range like so bad. But from short range, you can actually just pop up like, like, bam, like, fucking quick, like that. Just watch my gameplays, guys, on this gun, the Scorpion Evil, and uh, you should be able to learn some stuff, or t like one thing or two. So, uh, so yeah, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me.